to a, to a degree, it was just don't change anything because it ain't broke the same year after year. But I guess the cycle of training now is quite different for road racing. And Gary mentioned there in the tape that you know you've been working on a few things you weren't so good at. What sort of things have changed in training? What 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 have you not been good at? Um, I like it's, it's different. I'm not going to give away anything massive, but at the same time, I've got to know Gary really well, and, and we work so well together. And um, there's things that he's given me that I've never done before. So, and I'm getting better at it, getting stronger. There's things that he's given me. I'm so good at it. So it's about understanding coaching and, and stuff. And, and we have been working on a lot of different things. But I, I guess Gary is a genius, so um, I to believe in him, and, and that's what I do. Are you able to give us one example of something that that is different that Gary um, has produced? I'll probably say short recovery stuff that I'm not so great that he's given me. Short recovery rest, yeah. so so just thirty seconds rest instead 30 of seconds, two minutes. Thirty seconds, seconds. It's just different variation of different things. And that means more intensity. Yeah. Ironically, when you're no longer a track runner. I know it is difficult, but get through it. Sunday's race. Um, how much has it played on your mind, or have you tried to blank that out of things and just get on with the daily routine of preparing and left it all to Gary? I mean, have you studied the opposition on Sunday? Yeah, no, definitely. Me and Gary, as a, we had a good chat. Uh, you know, the, the feeling is strong, as, as, you, as you know. Um, but our aim is, like, you know, just go with our own plan and, and see what we can do. But at the same time, uh, Dave and the team, uh, London Marathon, that's what it's amazing field. If you, if you look at it, you've got Elliot and Charlie, who's run for two hours, isn't it? Um, and then you've got Kennedy's at the two or three. You've got uh, Danny Wanjuru. I think that's the top three, really. And then you've got me, who's ranked in 27th. So, we'll just see how it goes. <laughs> what are, your, what are, your, what are your, your own little goals for Sunday? I mean, you're already English record holder, so is it win the race, place top three, personal best, British record, Steve Jones' British record is sort of hanging there from many, many years back. What, have you got a little hierarchy of, of targets? I think the aim is definitely going to go after that British record for sure. Uh, but at the same time, you know, in, in my mind, since, 2012, uh, since 2014 to now, I've learned a lot more, understand a lot more. So, see how it goes, but I guess, you know, the aim is just one step at a time, go off that British run, call, see what we do, and then see what happens. Okay, British record, that's a nice, uh, straightforward one. Uh, I'll open it up to, to you guys now. Any, any questions for uh, Samo Farah? Uh, as I say, please do, I have to emphasize, do ask them now if you're not part of the one to ones later on. Yes, Sean. You could wait, wait for the mic to be brought to you, thank you. I know, we've had a lot to talk about the weather already. Um, if it's 22, 23 degrees, A, do you worry um, about not being able to run the British record because of the heat? And also, can you have your comments on the Callum Hawkins? Did you see it? And what were your thoughts when you saw Callum at the Commonwealth Games, you know, obviously in distress? Yeah, uh, no, definitely. I, I saw a little clip of Callum uh, towards the end of the race where he collapsed. And um, definitely, it's not, it's not a great feeling. Um, I was obviously devastated at the time seeing that. Um, but he's a, he's a great fighter, and, and that's what Callum does. He will go all the way and, and go as hard as he can and, and push and try and break the guys. Um, obviously, you know, we didn't have the great access, and Sunday for us, I think it's going to be completely different. Uh, just you know, seeing the London Marathon, and uh, as he said, we will They've given us the confidence and they believe that you know their staff and 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 plenty of doctors. But at the same time, for me, do not. My aim is not to think of any of that. Um, just respect the guys, get on with the race, and see what I can do. Yes. Oh, sorry, wait yeah, for okay. a mic or. Yeah, Hello. Um, you talk about your your aims for Sunday, but um, I guess it must feel strange to be on that start line, not being the favourite, and not almost the expectation of being you're actually going to win the race. No, that's a great feeling. Um, no, it's a great feeling. Um, not you know not having as much pressure as, as you know as others I do on the track. You know, when you do it on the track, you just pick between them. Now I'm ranked 27. And there's a lot of guys who can run a lot faster than me. Um, it's a good feeling, but you know, for me, when I turn up, I'm going to give it 110% and see what I can do. My aim is to do the marathon and to learn as much as I can and you know, mix it with the guys, and, and that's what I'll do. 
Hi, Mo. I'm wondering, will you have your own personal pacer in the race? And, you know, if not, what's the fastest uh, that you'd be willing to go out for in the half marathon? This is, this is, this is, this is like a, it's the biggest race. Um, there's only one way to run, and that's mixing with the guys and see what we can do. Um, so you know, you'd be all right going out on world record pace if they do that? If that's what the guys are doing, why not? Yes. Uh, the lady, sorry, the blonde hair. Hi, Mo. Just wondering, did you have any reservations about signing up with an Oregon Project coach again, and what did you make of Laura Muir obviously deciding to drop McHenry just 24 hours after signing him up? I haven't been watching any of the previews, as I said. I've been in Africa training, and uh, I, mean, I work for British Athletics. Uh, I've not seen Dave McCurry since last October, and uh, through British Athletics, he sent me uh, the lifting strength side, <coughs> and that's all. Yes. You said that you've not really seen you, your family so much because you've been away training. Do you get time on, off after the marathon to, to go on holiday and spend time with them, or are you straight back at work? Yeah, for me, um, once I get the race out of the way, I'm going to go and enjoy it, spend time with the kids and do what a normal family would like to do. But the job is to do Sunday, get that out of the way, and then start thinking about the kids and other stuff and spend time with my wife and kids. Uh, I know you, you said before that you've got an eye on Tokyo, and lots of people say that uh, the marathon is a kind of long learning process. So, are you able to see this? even though it's such an enormous event in itself as a stepping stone for you and can you then kind of be happy with a finish that puts you maybe someday down the field but if you made some good learning so you'd be like towards Tokyo. Yeah, no, as I said, um, it's taken me, I don't think I think the first time I've kind of broken 13 minutes was Zurich in 2010. Yeah, so since then I've been doing it and it's been a long learning and improving step by step. And I think it's the same in the marathon. I think that's what it's going to take uh, in order for me to, you know, to come away with medal in Tokyo and, and see what I can do. It's going to take me each year, if I can run two marathons a year, that will give me a good confidence as, as I get to many marathons and, and try and learn about myself, what I can do and what I can't do. And the quicker you learn, the most likely you can come up with something. And that's why I've had a great track career because I've learned how to win races and how to, you know, off your positions and you know mentally and physically be strong and I think in the marathon I think physically I am strong and uh, mentally just have to you know get stronger and, and get practicing uh, but Sunday's race it's not it's not going to be like a championship I think it's going to be an incredible race because if you look at it I don't know who's missing not many not many um, yes we got the lady back there in red Hi, well, two questions, please. Um, you said you're going to run and see what happens, but in practical terms, I would like to know what do you expect to be a good result for you? Top 10, top 5? And also another question, not related to, to the marathon itself, but as a football fan, as an Arsenal fan, I think you should be neutral enough to answer a question that is bothering Brazilians right now. Uh, who, would be, who would be the best one player to be in the 11 stars of Brazilian squad in the World Cup? Bobby Firmino or Gabriel Jesus? 